everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are working on this jet pump today for this 1996 GTI. We're going to be finishing up a part two of my jet pump uh, rebuilding uh, video that I started a while back last uh, fall. Um, this will be doing a pressure chest, pressure, pressure check of a of your cone once you get your new cone installed um you use your red loctite your red sealant uh, that comes with your osd kit and the o-ring to put on your cone uh, make sure it's good and sealed wait 24 hours or so for that to uh, cure and then you're ready for a uh, a test uh, and you have to hold about i think it's six psi um, on on these um, so you want to start with taking off your plug. We have our little pump here. This goes up to 60 PSI. I normally use this when I'm testing a pop-off pressure on the carbs. We have a different fitting here, just a little nipple fitting that will thread right into the cone. You don't want to um, over-tighten it because it is a tapered thread just get it snug if you go too deep you'll uh when you go to put the plug back in it'll bottom out put this piece on here And then we want to pump it up. So I'm going to get just below 10 PSI. I'm probably at about 6 there. We want to make sure that holds for about 5 minutes, 5 or 10 minutes. So we're gonna set that down, make sure that holds. And I'll give you a walk around on this 1996 GTI. Because now if this leaks, you're gonna get water in there and ruin your, your pump if it seizes up. Um, so once we, once we verify that the seal is good, then we'll put our oil in it. We have our cloth jet pump oil also from osd marine and we have our two o-rings that's for the nozzle those o-rings will go right there it came with a third o-ring for the cone so we want to make sure we stay we don't drop so here's the 1996 gti but we are still holding we don't see any leakage coming around the seam. Um, uh, so we'll put oil in this and then we'll put our plug back on. And I also like to put a dab of this on the plug and in the plug. When I, you know, when I get it on, once I get it installed, put a dab of this silicone, help keep water because this is also a leak point. So... I'm getting we're still, let's see if we're still holding. We are still holding. So now we're going to release this. Push this button to release. You can hear it drawing down. So now we'll disconnect this. Let me get this on my tripod. disconnect this like I said this little pump works great for doing carbs and stuff to pop off too just need different fittings okie dokie so now we are ready for our oil
this takes about all this this is four ounces so about all of this will be used might be a little bit left over Put off the tip. I'm gonna put a rag under here to help keep getting oil from spilling. And we're just gonna slowly fill this with oil. Flush it around, maybe turn the impeller to turn it a little bit. You can fill the cavity up. Now some people say fill it all the way up. I fill it pretty much all the way up, but you may want to have some room for expansion to let it breathe. That's up to you, depending on your how you feel about it. When we used to fill gear boxes up at work, we'd fill them about 75-80%, give or take. Because it'll expand and get dirty and you need that room for expansion. Otherwise, you can blow a seal. Now, I think the instructions call for like 3.8 ounces. And this is 4 ounces. So, you're going to use mo pretty much almost all of it. Yeah, there's very little left. So what I like to do, let me have to maybe this one's not open. Okay. I take my plug, just put a little silicone around it like that you don't want to over tighten it you don't want to bottom it out just like that And then I like to dab a little of this over the hole. 
just to help for water water get it watertight you can when you go to replace this or do it again you can easily cut that out with a knife to get your to get your allen wrench in there Okie dokie, so our pump is done. Now we are ready to install it. I will get um, my seal and stuff for the ready for the pump and we'll get this thing we'll get this thing started. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, this quick how-to on doing a uh, cone pressure test um, and installing the pump on this 1996 GTI. Um, so we've made some progress on this and uh, what we've got left is the fuel baffle put gas in it and get it fired up. We'll do some decals, we'll do a water test and uh, hopefully we'll get it sold. So thanks for watching the video guys, I appreciate it. Hit the like button, leave me a comment, uh, leave me a suggestion on other videos you might wanna see on how to repair some stuff, uh, that'd be great. Please subscribe, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, last of check as of right now, I've got 615 subscribers. I'd like to hit a thousand before the end of summer. Um, but we made a lot of good progress on this GTI and uh, I really like this whole style it's very nice to ride, very stable uh, my fiance loves riding my other 96 GTI restored last year um, <clears throat> but this is a very good ski um, to ride the 717's are generally pretty reliable um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I hope to see, more, see you in the next video peace out guys this video is sponsored by OSD Marine. Check them out for all your Sea-Doo two-stroke parts.